So I'm videotaping just how greasy my hair is because I've been out of clove for a few days. I've been using a lot of um, shea butter oil on my skin, which gets all over my hair. And it's not at all wet. It is just this greasy. Uh, what's embarrassing for me is glory for God. Glory be to God, he gave us clove powder. So I just walked my greasy head self to the grocery store and bought ground cloves. Now, I was gonna buy a big glass jar, but it was $7. And I was scanning, is there any cheaper, um, is there anything cheaper? And I saw this, but I thought that's got to be less because it looks so small. But always do your reading, do your, do your research. This is 1.7 ounces, the jar was 1.55 ounces. So this is actually, um, you know, 20 per, 20, 20% of an ounce more than the one, other one. It was $2 cheaper. And what I realized is it's very lightweight and small and compact. So I can fit it in my purse or take it with me. And it weighs almost nothing. The glass jar weighs more than the clove itself. So this weighs almost nothing. It's very exciting. Always use the uh, sprinkle mode and just go to town. You wanna see what's happening up here? Okay, always use whatever opening works best for your hair. That's gonna take all day. But also, it's kinda nice. So it's interesting, it's really amazing, I think, to watch the transition of putting almost nothing, you know, very, it doesn't take, like you don't have to, that's more like it. It's coming out a little fast, but my hair is very greasy. And the idea is try not to brush it off, but to shake it in, to really rake it in. Already my hair feels better. Whew. Now what's interesting about the clove, when you touch it, it actually leaves a greasy oil residue on your skin or your clothes, it stains things. I think this is why so many women dye their hair red because it is a historically familiar practice to put red clove powder into your hair. I've tried all other clays and um, herbs and spices. They make a huge mess. They burn the skin and eyes. They don't pick up the oil as effectively and the smell can be too much or not right or whatever. Everyone tells me your hair smells amazing. What is that smell? What is that smell? That smells so amazing. What is that? What is that? What is that? Nobody can really put their finger on it because we don't really use clove very much in cooking. When we do use it, it's so powerful and strong that we just use a tiny bit. We usually use it in conjunction with other spices like cinnamon or vanilla. So people really, they just go, what did you bake today? Are you baking? What do you, I mean, I don't know. Can you guys see? How much different it's not shiny anymore and it's not even rubbed in yet what I do is really rub the hair I've always had this habit of what my my parents called gritting gritting my hair and I'm like rubbing one section on the other but it actually just really does a great job of cleaning my hair so my hair went from greasy shiny to matte flat with dirt on it and now it's coming back to clean shiny soon if i do enough of this all over it's going to be clean shiny you know it doesn't really take this much attention as i'm putting on this one spot because i'm talking and i'm illustrating and i'm kind of just looking my own self but i just kind of go through it quickly so here's what i'm gonna do also i very much treat it like um like dyeing my hair so i don't know if any of you are familiar with hair dyeing but i will slice a segment put some dye then slice the next segment and put some more in. Feels a lot like having sand in your hair at the beach and your siblings throw sand all over you. Dogs are running around kicking sand. 
kind of looks like I have a wig on for a little while. But you know, you just, you just brush that away when you're done. But right now I'm still brushing it in. Glory be to God. <laughs> we can make this stuff ourselves out of nature. I mean, we can't. <laughs> the reality is, I was like, why does that sound so weird? We can't make this. We can make shampoo and conditioner out of chemicals. We can make chemicals. We can make power plants and warehouses and production plants and manufacture bottles and trucks <clears throat> and ship it all around and charge people lots of money. The truth is, it's all making the earth sick and it's all making us sick because our body absorbs what we come in contact with in our lungs and our skin. People don't realize, I didn't know, that you eat out of your skin. Your skin is like a giant tongue. It's like a big dry tongue. And it literally absorbs stuff the same way our tongue does. I did not know that. And that was how I got to make my skincare company, was in learning that I was like, this is, Horrible, I've got to make my own skincare that's natural. My granny always used olive oil. My mother used olive oil and coconut oil and all sorts of lotions and perfumes that smelled amazing. And her favorites were from flowers. Just simple, precious flowers and roses. My mother had just a beautiful gift for it makes me feel like just soft and lovely and feminine to think of my mother's touch with flowers and roses in the garden in life. It was beautiful. My mother and her mother both really great at um, giving gifts and flowers and cards and wrapping presents in a fun and beautiful way. And so that's really what we're doing with our body when we're taking care of it is we're making it beautiful and precious and thoughtful to present, to be a present for others. When I go see my granny and my son, my family, my mom, my siblings, all the beautiful men in my family, I want to see them shining and they want to see me shining. Look, I'm not even done yet. It already looks like I'm halfway through a blowout. It just really picks up the um, oils because oil meets with oil. And so the oil in the clove is meeting with the oil in my hair. It picks it up and just falls off. I mean, look at this. Look at this body that's coming. I'm just barely starting. I've just barely done a little of the top part. I haven't gotten all around. I haven't rubbed it into the rest of it. I haven't even rubbed it in. That's a really amazing part. I have not even rubbed it in yet. I haven't even finished putting it on. So if you've got to go somewhere, you just ch -ch -ch on the top, just go like that a little bit and you're ready. People are like, oh my God, where'd you just come from? You look amazing. You smell great. God did it. I don't know, but I know God did it. I think it'd be really cool to have salons where we do this because it makes a mess. It's very hard to do to the back of my head. It's not very hard, but it's tricky. And I feel like there's a lot of wasted clove. If we did it in a salon, we could make special clove bowls, not a sink, just like a hair washing sink, but with a no drain at the bottom, just for clove washing. Imagine the water we could save. I just kind of do the best I can by muscle memory. I know it's like one, two, three, and 
kind of to like catch it before it rolls away and you just got to trust and practice. Not the same as washing your hair in the shower for sure. It is different, but I have not used shampoo and conditioner I'm going on probably close to four years now, a good three years. No, it's been longer than that. But yeah, it's, it's around four years now that I have not used shampoo or conditioner at all, not once. And people tell me more and more every day, every year, that my hair looks outrageous, that they're so bedazzled or jealous or wowed or in awe. Everybody I am around marvels at how great I smell and how comforting it is. Look at this. Look at this mop of glory. I went from being a greasy mess to being a majestic lion and I'm not even done yet. Not even done yet. I've gotten it onto like three quarters of my head. Still so greasy. Isn't God cool? I mean, isn't God cool? Can we just give it up to God for a minute? Isn't God amazing and great and awesome? Who does this? Who makes a plant? It kills all viruses, infections, bugs, mold, parasites, vermin. I don't know if it kills the eggs, but maybe even that. And this stuff kills things. So the amazing part is, you could use shampoo and conditioner all day, but some people might not like the smell. Your hair is still going to feel greasy. You have to have water. I don't have to have water. There could be no running water, and I still look like I had a fresh wash and a blowout. That's amazing, especially if you're on the road, in a bus, in an airplane, you know, you could be on a 12, 15 hour flight and go wash your hair twice on the flight and everybody would be like, oh my God, it smells amazing in the plane. Thank you, God, for whoever's doing this. And you'd be like, God did this, it's clove powder. It's amazing to me. It's just amazing to me. what he is and how he works, how he made things so perfectly for us. And we are going nuts, wasting a fortune of money. I mean, this was expensive, it was $5. A lot of times I can get it for like $8 at Smart and Final for a giant, giant, like more than this, it's awesome. So it's not the end of the world. We could order it in bulk, it would be cheaper. I have a hard time on the left side of my face for some reason I'm always a little more awkward on this side. Even when you get it in your eyes, it's not that bad. I've gotten, I've tried using cinnamon because a lot of stores carry cinnamon and a lot of stores do not carry clove. In fact, almost all stores everywhere carry cinnamon, and about 30% of stores everywhere carry clove. Um, but when you get a little of this in your eye, you just kind of brush it out and blink it out. You can feel where there's a piece and it's hot, like hot cinnamon candy in your eyeball, but it's not actually hot. You get a little tiny, tiny, tiny piece of cinnamon in your eyes, and it is really like a cinnamon candy in your eyes it's not okay you can't spit it out it's just not fun and it doesn't absorb the grease or brush away um cinnamon is very powder like usually and this is very much like a grain of sand it's like these little tiny scrubbing rocks that go all over your head little it's a lot like sand i always drop more off of this side I reckon it has something to do with my eyesight. I've got worse eyesight on one side. So I think I sort of hold my head to compensate so I can see with the good eye. But little things we gotta deal with, 
you know, life isn't perfectly easy, but it is perfectly glorious with God. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, thank you, God, thank you, God. Glory, 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 glory. It's hard to sing upside down, it changes my vocals. I didn't know that. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Weird. You know, it's hard to eat food, I didn't think it would be hard to sing. Upside down. So I'm getting to the end of it here. Now I just sort of rub it all into my hair everywhere and feel where there's a spot that's not sandy but more greasy feeling. And when I'm done, it'll all feel puffy. It won't feel greasy anywhere. At this point, I'm definitely hanging my head down over the rest of my hair and sometimes I'll grab it kind of try and collect what's falling out into the rest of my hair rub it Look at this amazing mop. So much body. So clean, so beautiful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I haven't even finished rubbing it in. Haven't finished rubbing it around. Haven't brushed my hair out. But it honestly even kind of looks like it's been brushed. It's just like, it's just like having a blowout. But it's still, you can still see it all over my head, but already my hair looks um, shiny clean. The shiny grease has gone away and glory be to God. This is how healthy hair should look. I'm gonna finish rubbing it around for, I like to do it when I'm kind of cleaning the, cleaning the house or working on stuff and I can just walk around every once in a while and go like this all over kind of find a greasy spot and really go at it you know god made our fingers feel detail for a reason so i love you all and i'm right here god loves us all and he's right here let's be loving to ourselves to one another to earth to god let's be grateful for what we have we have health we have hair we have clove powder Ground, don't get whole clothes. Ground clothes, that's all you need for the most amazing hair you've ever seen. Glory be to God. And when you're done, you just brush your face off. You can use your hand, but a towel works better. And a towel works really well to kind of clean up the edges. Ba bam so I'm gonna keep washing this out like this this is how I wash my hair and then I'm gonna brush it I love you all and I'm right here God loves us all and he's right here let's be loving to ourselves to one another to earth to God with all that we do and all of who we are <laughs> hallelujah <laughs>